Psalm 35, a psalm of David. He's in the middle of a battle. He's in the middle of a battle, and he cries out to God. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. He says, God, he said, I just need to hear you say over me, I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. I am your strong Savior. Psalm 35 is your psalm. Now I'm going to reach over here. I'm going to grab my phone because I want to say hello and my phone went off. So if you are in the middle of a battle, Psalm 35 is an, an incredible psalm for you to sing. So hello, everyone. Veronica and Amber, because I always love to say hi to people, and Rebecca and Darcy and Ryan and Randy and Susan. I've missed you, Susan. And Gonzalez, uh, how I say, Robert Sign, uh, Brittany. Hello, everyone. Lupe. You are 
in a battle. Psalm 35 is an incredible psalm. Now, I've sang it before. I haven't sang it for a while. And as you get on, if you will do me a favor, hello, Colleen and Eve and Gonzalez and Jill. Hey, as you get on tonight, do me a favor, press your share button so that Psalm 35 goes out. I want this psalm to go out and over social media. It's an incredible psalm of David when David's in a battle. So let me ask you, give me some thumbs up. How many of you tonight are in the midst of a battle? Because probably most of you would say me. I am. I mean, I'm in a battle. We're all in a battle. We are in a battle with COVID-19. We want to send it back to to Hades. We want to send it packing. We're in a battle. We're in a battle. California is in a battle to worship. We're in a battle. And you know what? California is going to worship. We will worship. So I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. There's we, We're in a battle. If you are in a battle, the words of this psalm are amazing. So do me a favor. Press your share button. Hello, Rita. Hello, Sila. Um, hello, Susan. Susan, you got to paint Psalm 35. So in Psalm 35, David tells God, he says, this is my appeal to heaven. And he says, he says, God oppose those who oppose me. Fight against those who fight against me. And then, I mean, get this. This is amazing because then David tells God, put on your armor and take up your shield. God, you prepare for battle. And, and I think, what does that look like? Maybe it looks like Psalm 18 when God comes down. What does it look like when God puts on his armor and he takes up his shield and God prepares for battle to fight with you and for you in the battle that you're facing because this is what David asked God to do and it's an incredible psalm and he tells God grab your weapons of war God you know maybe that's maybe that's the angelic host um, I mean it's an incredible psalm and David is just saying through this whole thing you know he's like he's petitioning God you know Put on your armor. Take up your shield. God, Yah, prepare for battle. And then he just goes back. You know, he's he's in this war. He's, he's, he's in the middle of a battle, so he's fighting a battle. But then all throughout it, he, he keeps going back to this. I want to hear you say over me, over me, God. I want to hear you say, in the midst of all the fray and the battle, I want to hear you say this to me. I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory, Mary, yes I will. So if you're in a battle tonight, I'm going to sing Psalm 35 over you. This is straight from the, I believe most of it's from the New Living Translation. Some of it is from the Passion Translation. I believe the chorus is from the Passion. I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. So if there's any 
part of this psalm that you could memorize tonight to sing over yourself, over your family this week. I want to encourage you, don't just listen to me sing, but I'm telling you where the rubber meets the road, I'm telling you where you begin to get freedom is when you sing it over you. There's something about when we take ownership you know instead of oh pray for me and i love to pray for people i love it but i i i love to equip i want to equip you with psalm 35 tonight that if you're in a battle no matter what kind of battle you're in if you will take this chorus and sing it out if you'll take these verses and sing them out or make up your own melody to your own psalm i'm telling you there's breakthrough, and this is why. Because Hebrews 4, 12, the word of the Lord is full of living power. The word of God is alive and full of living power. Alice Huey and Sylvia, the word of the Lord is alive and full of living power. So when we sing Psalm 35, it's not just a pretty little song with a pretty little melody. These are words that are alive. And basically that means, Daniel, wherever you are, you are the target of Psalm 35. This Psalm has creation on it. It has empowerment on it, a strengthening spirit. It has like the, the spirit of breakthrough on it to actually break through in your battle. Why? Because the word of God is alive and it's impossible for it not to go forth and begin to make things right in your life. So, amen. I love that. It makes me excited. Okay. When you see the the little pop-up, which just popped up, it says, respond with your email to receive a free sample of 24-7 worship. Hey, if you would like a free musical download of our 24-7 worship radio, put your email address in there and we will send that to you. We are singing our way through the Psalms, bringing the Psalms into our everyday life. We've recorded Psalm 1 through Psalm 55. Psalm 55 is getting uploaded this next week an incredible psalm but we're bringing these psalms into our life they're not just beautiful scriptures they're not just beautiful prayers they are but we we as believers can walk in the benefits of the psalms just like david did we've just got to bring them into our life we've got to use the psalms as a weapon of warfare this is my weapon of warfare tonight right here it is the living bible it is my purple passion bible so anyway i'm excited if you are just getting on press your share button so that psalm 35 goes out and i believe that these words are, I, I love to say, you are the target of Psalm 35. And Psalm 35, it's going to perfectly hit the mark of your heart and your mind and your soul and your strength tonight. If you are in a battle, if you are in a battle, you've got to pick up your weapon. Too many times we just let the enemy win and we got to fight. And David calls on God to fight. God, and I feel like that's what we are invoking tonight. We are crying out, God, yeah, I need you tonight to put on your weapons of warfare and fight this battle conquer this battle and say over me I am your strong Savior I will be your victory I am your strong Savior I will be your Victory. It's Psalm 35. 
Psalm 35, David's cry to God, and he says, it's my appeal to heaven. It's my appeal to you, God. I want to hear you say, over me, over me, over me, God. I want to hear you say, over me, over me, God. I am your strong Savior. psalms some of the most powerful songs that we sing when we talk about warfare it does not have to be this minor key you know it just doesn't have to be that sometimes it's the book of esther sometimes it's song of solomon and it's this beautiful love song god i just want to hear you say i am your strong savior warfare Warfare music is not always in a minor key. Sometimes it's a love song because we know who we are just like Esther knew who she was when she went before the king. Right now, Darcy and Belinda and everyone watching tonight, we're going before the king. And we're, we're believing he's going to, he's going to, hold up his scepter and grant us we know he's going to grant he, we know he's going to grant us he's going to bid us to come because Jesus already made a way but get this psalm in your heart if you're just getting on press the share button so that psalm 35 can just go out if you like this psalm it is part of our 24 7 worship radio um, and you can uh, when you see that pop-up just put your email in there and we will send you a free musical download because we are fighting our battles just like David did. David wrote it down so we could sing it out. And the same God that put on his armor for David is the same God that puts on his armor and fights for us, with us, on our behalf to give us the victory. Amen, 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 amen. If you have a prayer request tonight, just write it down, write it down. Uh, I, I want to sing this over California tonight. California's in a battle. California's in a worship battle. I want to sing it over America. America's in a battle tonight. So whatever you're going through, sing this psalm over it and watch God fight with you and for you. So this is what David sang out. He said, it's my appeal to heaven. It's my appeal to you, God. I want to hear you say over me, over me. I want to hear you say over me, over over Yolinda, over Lupe. I want to hear you say over Beth tonight. Here we go. We all know this right now. Here's our chorus. Mm. I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory.
gonna be our victory. He's gonna be our victory. And David says this in Psalm 34. He says, Oh Lord, oppose those, oppose those who oppose me, and fight against those, fight against those who fight against me. David says, put on your armor, take up your shield, put on your armor, take up your shield, God, oh, put on your armor, take up your shield, prepare for battle, prepare for battle, God. Prepare for battle, come to my help. Prepare for battle. Can you just sing this out wherever you are? Because we need God to break into our families, to our finances, to our bodies, to our sons and daughters, to our jobs, to our cities, to our states, to our nations. Can you just sing it out? Prepare for battle. God, prepare for battle. Come to my hell. Rise up, mighty, mighty, mighty God. Grab your weapons of war, God. What does that look like? What do you think that looks like when David says, God, grab your weapons of war and block the way of the wicked? God, I pray that over our cities tonight. I pray it over businesses that are too scared to open tonight. I pray it over San Luis Obispo. I pray it over Santa Maria. I pray it over LA, God. I pray it over America. That you, oh God, would come and fight this battle. It's a battle with darkness. It's a battle with darkness. Mm. And David says, Lord, you stand for me when the wicked stand against me and I can say to him I can say to God I can say to God I want to hear you say over me over me God so here we go Sing it out. I'm singing it out over James Vincent. Singing it out over Dallas. Singing it out over Denton. Singing it out over the glory of Zion. And David says, Oh God, I want to hear you sing over me. I am your strong Savior.
It's what the Lord is singing over you tonight. He's saying, I'm your strong Savior. Lori, I'm your strong Savior. Sylvia, Jocelyn, I'm going to be your victory. I'm going to be your victory. No matter what you see. victory bonnie bonnie i'm gonna be your victory and this is what david says he says because one word from you it quiets all my fears inside god mm, just one because Psalm 35. It, it, it starts with David saying, I need to hear you sing over me. I need to hear you say over me, I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. And what we know about what David was fighting right now, you know, it, 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 he was fighting a battle of battles to the point where David, what we sang earlier, David says, I'm appealing to heaven, God, and I am saying, oppose those who oppose me. Fight against those who fight against me. And David tells God, put on your armor, take up your shield. And David tells God, prepare for battle. You know, it's like, shouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> but David is calling God, Yah, the warrior of warriors, for God to get dressed in his warrior battle outfit or array and prepare for battle. And he says, and he says, grab your weapons of war. I mean, can you imagine? So, so, so this is a battle of battles. And I'm telling you, there's a battle right now for worship in California. There's a battle of lawlessness in the streets and cities of America. And, and we are fighting a battle against drug lords of darkness from Hades, from hell. But what David, what David does, he doesn't lose his tender heart for God. And that's what I want to bring out because, because David starts to say, and all my bones, all my bones are going to say, who is like unto you? And then he says, and all my bones and all my flesh we will sing a song of gratitude and I feel like this is key right here that in the midst of the battle 
in the midst of the war, in the midst of the fray, in the midst of lawlessness in the streets, that our heart stays tender. Because you have this song, you know, invoking God, come down, get your weapons of war. I mean, what does that even look like? And suddenly, David's like, oh God, with all my bones, with all my flesh, I'm going to sing a song of gratitude. That is key, beloved. Judy and Sarah, in the midst of the fight, in the midst of the battle, before we, this song, David is singing to God before he saw the victory, before he saw the breakthrough, before the battle was won, before he conquered he is crying out to God, and I feel like a, a key in our battle is we cannot lose our tender heart for God. That's why we've got to sing the Psalms. Hi, Penny Hayes. Hi, Winona and Shelly. We have to sing. The, there's something about singing that it, 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 it goes way deep down into the soul. It goes deep, deep deeper, deeper, deeper into the soul and it keeps us tender so that in the midst of the battle and the fray instead of getting angry at what our eyes are seeing that song that tender love song to God and that that prayer and then God put on your armor suddenly we're right back here to this tender place of with all my bones will say who is like unto thee Mm -hmm. with all my bones and all my flesh I'll sing my song of gratitude so it's like when David goes to war he doesn't leave a tender heart at home you know, it's not like, I mean, he, he, he brings the tender, he brings the lover with the warrior side of David. So there's the warrior side, but that song, uh, that, that tender love song to God, he never loses. He never loses that. And I feel like that is key as we fight these battles because the cities in America, they're, they're, they're in a a, a war right now. There's a war between light and darkness. There's a war between leaving God in and taking God out. So no matter what we see, we gotta gotta do what David did and we gotta sing that song of gratitude. I mean that, come on. That's that's worth some some hearts right there and some thumbs up right there. We got to keep that tender heart. Uh, What what is Jesus? When uh, when, when lawlessness abounds, the hearts of the people grow cold. So Psalm 35 is telling us, don't let that happen. No, keep your heart tender. And hey, if you're just getting on, press your share button. Psalm 35 is an incredible psalm of warfare. It's warfare in a love song. If you see a pop-up, put your email address in there, and we will send you a free musical download from our 24-7 radio, which we are singing our way through the Psalms. I just recorded Psalm 35 with Cassie Campbell, amazing amazing musician and um, I just want to get these psalms in you because if you sing them you don't forget them and you pull out the right psalm at the right time and you fight your battles just like David did I believe that David wrote them down so that we could sing them out and the very same psalms the very same God that that delivered and fought for David is the very same God that does the same for us and I want you a Sylvia and Winona and Tatiana I want you to walk in a 
enduring a, a, a spirit of breakthrough just like David. And, and, and this is what David did. This is a psalm that was a prayer that he used when he needed breakthrough in the battle and it was before the victory of the battle and it's like we just got a I just feel like the spirit of revelation is right here in my little studio because it's like suddenly we're in battle mode and then all of a sudden we've got this and with all my bones and all my flesh I'll sing my song of gratitude so don't don't leave your gratitude at home don't leave your thankful heart at home when you're fighting your battle that that thankful heart will keep your heart tender and will keep your heart alive and will keep you trusting in the name of the Lord not being angry by what your eyes are seeing we've got to keep that tender heart of gratitude and gratitude no matter what we're facing no matter the battle this is what David says he says I love this part and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord says, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. And you know what? Remember, he was just crying out to God saying, God, prepare for battle. He was saying, put on your armor, take up your shield. saying grab your weapons of war God and then he begins to sing and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord right in the middle of the battle before I see the victory he sings my soul shall joyful in the Lord. You know, you can have joy. You can have joy in the midst of the fray. That's one thing Chuck Pierce said over and over. He's, he's consistently said it. Don't stop your giving and don't, don't lose your joy, Louise and Michael and Sarah. Don't, don't stop your giving and don't lose your joy. We can be in a battle Fighting through the Word of God. Always use the Word of God because it is alive and full of living power. But David says, my soul, I mean the depths of me, I mean my emotions, my appetite, my organs, my mind, my soul, the deepest part of me that normally holds the most pain and anger, that part right there, because when we sing, this is what I think, when we sing the Bible, it's like a fast on-ramp to get the word way deep in the soul. David says, my soul is going to rejoice in the Lord. Come on, you guys. I just feel like the right people get on at the right time to hear the right song. So whatever you're facing tonight, the Lord wants to encourage you that just like he came down, maybe it looked like Psalm 18, but just like David cried to God, prepare for a battle, that God, tonight, I want to encourage you, Hope and Lori, I want to encourage you tonight that God is preparing for battle, that he is dressed in his royal array to fight on your behalf for you and with you but he says don't lose your heart of gratitude and don't lose your joy that's that those are weapons of warfare Did, do you know gratitude and joy are weapons of warfare because if the enemy can get us angry 
Well, we don't think so well when you're angry. <laughs> you just get madder. But if you, can, if you can stir up that gratitude and that joy in the midst of the battle, that's what David's saying right here. He's singing these songs. He's stirring up joy. And he's, he's prophesying over his own soul. My soul will be joyful in the Lord in the midst of a battle so difficult to fight that he had to cry out for God to get dressed in his warrior array and put on his buckler and put on his shield. That was the fight that David was in. And then he says, And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. And if you are feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry, you're, you're feeling mad because of the battle, sing these words. If you will sing, My soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Those words, remember, they're alive. They are full of living power. So when you sing, my soul shall be joyful in the Lord, those words actually go out and they go in and they begin to stir. They begin to get rid of the wrong emotions and stir up the right emotions. That's why we got to keep singing. That's why we got to keep singing. That's why in the midst of the battle, in the midst of the battle, we got to keep gratitude and we got to keep joy. That's what David did. And he says, and my soul, the deepest part of me shall be joyful in the Lord. Mm. Oh, from the very deepest part of me, my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then he just breaks in to a whole worship service. And, he's, and he begins to sing, Oh, magnify the Lord today and speak well of his name. These bones, the wicked tried to break now and forever sing your praise oh, I mean is that not so beautiful remember David's in the fray he hasn't won yet he, and, he, and he's steadying his soul in the midst of the battle and he, and he just sings it out sings it out and my soul shines joyful in the Lord mm. oh my and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord oh and I love this I love this it's, I think it's this part right here is right from the the passion translation and he and he, and he says oh magnify the Lord today and speak well of his name these bones the wicked tried to break now and forever sing your praise mm. and oh magnify the Lord today and glorify his holy name these bones the wicked tried to break now and forever sing your praise and with every bone in my body I will praise you oh who can compare to you Rescues the helpless from the strong. Who else protects the poor from those who do them wrong? You give justice, oh God. You give justice, oh God. You do what you 
It's like the whole psalm shifts. I mean, David, I mean, he starts with this tenderness. I want to hear you say over me, I'm your strong savior. I'll be your victory. And then David's in the midst of the battle and he's, he's calling on God, put on your weapons of warfare, come and fight. And then, and then all of a sudden, because he, he did not leave his gratitude and his tenderness and his joy. He didn't leave it at home. He brought it with him. And he brought it with him in the psalm. And he, he was probably, David wrote the psalms. David was, would, would meditate on the Torah day and night, night and day, day and night, night and day. And in those meditations of the Torah that he was singing, saying, praying, you know, declaring, decreeing, sing. In those meditation, he put his storyline, therefore we have the Psalms. Well, I think what we do, what we're doing right now is we're taking David's Psalms, we're putting our, 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 our storyline within the Psalms, and we're getting our own Psalm to the Lord. But David, in the midst of this war cry. This starts as a war cry, but underneath, David always brings his heart of gratitude, and he brings joy. He brings a heart of gratitude, a heart of thankfulness, and he never, ever leaves his joy. At least right here. I mean, there are many times in the Psalms when David's like, where are you, God? But in this psalm, in the midst of warfare, so great. This is how David fought. Gratitude, thankfulness, and joy in God. This, this, and you know what? David won. Hey, Jenny Baker and Darcy Wilson, David won. So what that tells me if that's how David won his battle, then I'm going to bring gratitude, thankfulness, and joy into every battle that I face. And you know what? When you sing about it, your emotions get in line with your words. I mean, I think this is, this is like, I feel like the spirit of revelation is right here, you know, and the, the light's coming on, bing, bing. Hey, if you're just getting on, press the, hey, press your share button so that Psalm 35 can go out everywhere. It's such an incredible psalm. If you see that pop up, put your email address in there and we want to send you a, um, yeah, we want to send you a um, free worship download from our 24-7 worship radio where we are singing our way through the psalms. We just uploaded, uh, we're just getting ready to upload Psalm 55. So we have Psalm 1 through 55 plus Psalm 91. Uh, over 40 hours of the Psalms that you can just push a button and the Psalms word for word. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I sing scriptures. They're not my Psalms. They're not my words. It's the word of God. God that is alive and full of living power that goes forth, that goes out, that changes you, that changes me, that changes situations, that changes the battle. And this is my testimony that it works. 
I like to say, if you sing the Psalms, if you sing the Bible, you might not make the worship team, but you will get 100% breakthrough. If you want breakthrough in your battle, sing the Psalms. So I want to I wanna sing this over. And I believe that tonight, that, that, that everybody listening, I'm telling you, I feel like there's a spirit of breakthrough in the room that's going out from Psalm 35. It's just riding the wings of my melody. But the spirit of breakthrough is all over Psalm 35. And, and yeah, and I'm just getting lots of... Um, you know, messages on Facebook to pray for our cities. And I want to encourage you, pray for your cities. From Psalm 35, pray it out of the Passion Translation or the New Living Translation, but take Psalm 35 and pray it. Say it, pray it, write it down, decree it loud, and sing it out. Take the psalm and and. Pray it and sing it and decree it over your city and watch God begin to begin to stop the plans of the enemy. And at the same time, he's going to help you keep your joy. He is going to help you keep your joy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if you're just getting on tonight, press your share button. So Psalm 35 can go out far and wide. I just believe that it is that strong. So let's, I want to sing this, this chorus again because I love the, and I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. I am your strong Savior. And 
I can hear him sing over you, Gloria and Lori and Deborah. And he sings, I am your strong Savior. I will be your victory. I am your strong Savior. Jesus just singing this 
meditations from the Torah, putting his storyline in those meditations, and we have Psalm 30. And this, this, so Psalm 30 was David's battle plan for victory, to keep a heart unoffended, to bring gratitude, thankfulness, and joy, and keep it right in the middle of the battle. And then, can you not hear Jesus? fighting that battle on the cross the very same way. Can you not hear him singing those very words? Because not one bone was broken. Can you not hear Jesus singing? And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Mm. And I'm just like thinking, you know, if David fought this way, and Jesus fought this way. Gosh, how much more, Mike and Shirley, do we need to fight this way? So here's a couple choruses for you tonight. Hey, if you're just getting on, press your share button so that Psalm 35 can go out far and wide. If you see a pop-up, then put your email address in there and we will send you a free download from our worship radio. We are singing our way through the Psalms. What, using the Psalms in the same way the patriarchs of old used those Psalms. And I want to put these tools of a psalmody in your hand for breakthrough. So I'm going to sing this one more time because it's so beautiful. Can you not hear David singing it out and Jesus singing it out? Well, magnify the Lord today and speak well of his name. These bones the wicked tried to break. Now and forever sing your praise. Oh, magnify the Lord today. And glorify his holy name. These bones the wicked tried to break. Sing your praise, sing your praise, and if David wrote it down, we will too, God. And if David sang it loud, we will too, and it sounds like Jesus on the cross, and it sounds like Jesus on the so we'll fight the very same way. We'll bring our gratitude to the battle. We'll bring our thanksgiving to the battle. We'll bring our joy to the battle. Because we want to hear the Lord sing over. So he's singing it out over you, Darcy and Winona. And hope, he's singing it out over you. I am your strength. 
strong Savior. That is so good. Gratitude. Gratitude to the battle. If you are in a battle, Psalm 35 shows us the power of showing up to fight, bringing along with us gratitude, thanksgiving, and joy. And David never lost his tender heart for God. And his love for God, his tenderness for God. And remember, Psalm 35, the battle is not won yet. This is the, this is the heavy fighting part. This is way before the end. If you are asking God to put on his fighting attire and prepare for battle, it's, it's you are in the heat of the battle. David, he says, my bones and my flesh will sing my song of gratitude. And I believe that shifted the battle. And if it shifted the battle for David, it will surely shift the battle for you, Fran and Debbie and Darcy. Yes. And so, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to pray over all these re requests tonight if I didn't, if I didn't say your name, but where it really, I'm telling you, where it's powerful is when you, when you just take up Psalm 35. I like to say it five ways. Say it out, pray it out. Write it down. There's something about writing down the Psalms that we, that, that we feel it in a different way. Say it, pray it, write it down, decree it loud. Decree Psalm 35 over your battle, over your family, over your finances, over your job. Decree it uh, and, and sing it loud. When we sing it, that's when it goes deep down into our soul, into our emotions, and it actually subsides all the turmoil in our soul, that song. That's what David says. He said, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Now, he didn't say my soul is right then. I mean, he said, my it was like right there he was speaking to his soul saying soul you shall be joyful in the Lord that's a key and if it worked for David it most surely will work for you Deborah and Lori and it will work for me so and Roxanne so amen and amen if you're just getting on, press your share button because Psalm 35, man, that is a beautiful psalm. And there was some revelation. The spirit of revelation was in this room as, as we were singing these words like, oh, oh, bring gratitude to the battle. Bring thankfulness to the battle. Bring joy to the battle. Speak to your soul. Don't forget to be joyful in the Lord. Oh, my soul. Um, if you see that pop up, hey, put your email address in there so we can send you a free download of our worship radio. We have over 40 hours of worship from the Psalms. Psalm 1 through Psalm 55. I just recorded Psalm 55. Just word for word from the Psalms that you can grab these choruses and just sing and fight your battles, not just from your own intellectual wisdom, but fight your battles like David did. 
you know, call upon the word of God and that melody. I'm telling you, when we fight our battles with the word of God, these words are alive. They have power on them. They have creation on them. They literally, they go forth and they begin to fight your battles, whatever your battles are, because the word of the Lord is alive and full of living power. So it goes out, but it also goes in and it changes us from the inside out because it's like, I don't have to convince you. I just want you to sing the Bible and the Bible will convince you that that's the truth. So anyway, amen and amen and amen. God bless you. And I prophesy to you tonight, Psalm 35, that even if you, even if you watch later, that God is your strong Savior and God will be your victory. Psalm 35, amen and amen.